Hey guys, this is Dr. Rajeshwar from YR Pharma Tube. In the previous lesson, we understood the electromeric effect of aldehydes and ketones. Hit the i button on top right of this video to watch it. For the other topics of organic chemistry, links are given in the description below this video. Watch them. In this video, we shall learn the aldol condensation of aldehydes and ketones. In nucleophilic addition and nucleophilic acyl substitution reactions, a carbonyl compound behaves as an electrophile when an electron-rich agent adds to it. In alpha substitution reactions, a carbonyl compound behaves as a nucleophile when it is converted into its enol or enolate ion. In the carbonyl condensation reaction, the carbonyl compound behaves both as an electrophile and as a nucleophile. Carbonyl condensation reaction takes place between two carbonyl compounds and involve a combination of nucleophilic addition and alpha substitution steps. One compound is converted into an enolate ion nucleophile and adds to the electrophilic carbonyl group of the second compound. In so doing, the nucleophilic compound undergoes an alpha substitution reaction and the electrophilic compound undergoes a nucleophilic addition. The general mechanism of the processes is shown here. In the first step, a carbonyl compound with an alpha hydrogen atom is converted by base into its enolate ion, that is the base removes a proton on the alpha carbon to form a resonance stabilized enolate. In the second step, the enolate ion acts as a nucleophilic donor and adds to the electrophilic carbonyl group of the second carbonyl compound. And in the final step, protonation of the tetrahedral alkoxide ion intermediate gives the neutral condensation product and regenerates the base catalyst. Thus, aldehydes and ketones with an alpha hydrogen atom undergo a base catalyzed carbonyl condensation reaction called the aldol reaction. For example, treatment of acetaldehyde that is ethanol with a base such as sodium ethoxide or sodium hydroxide in a protic solvent leads to rapid and reversible formation of 3-hydroxybutanol known as aldol that is aldehyde plus alcohol hence the general name of the reaction. The so formed 3-hydroxybutanol is a beta-hydroxy aldehyde. Another example in which two molecules of acetone that is propanone in the presence of barium hydroxide produces 4-hydroxy-4-methyl-2-pentanone which is again a beta-hydroxy ketone. The common name of the product derived from the reaction of aldehyde and acetone in base is aldol because it is both an aldehyde and an alcohol. Aldol is also the generic name given to any product formed in this type of reaction. The product of an aldol reaction is a beta-hydroxy aldehyde or beta-hydroxy ketone. The exact position of the aldol equilibrium depends both on reaction conditions and on substrate structure. The equilibrium generally favors a condensation product in the case of aldehydes with no alpha substituent that is RCH2CHO but favors reactant for disubstituted aldehydes that is R2CHCHO and for most ketones. Steric factors are probably responsible for these trends since increased substitution near the reaction site increases steric congestion in the aldol product. Base Catalyzed Aldol Condensation The base catalyzed aldol involves the nucleophilic addition of an enolate ion to a carbonyl group. The first step is the removal of an alpha hydrogen or a proton by base gives a resonance stabilized enolate ion. The second step is to make a new bond between a nucleophile and an electrophile. And lastly, addition of a proton. Reaction of the tetrahedral carbonyl addition intermediate with a proton donor gives the aldol product as a racemic mixture and generates a new base catalyst. Acid Catalyzed Aldol Condensations Aldol condensations also take place under acidic conditions. The mechanism of an acid catalyzed aldol condensation involves four steps. The first step is ketoenol tautomerism. Keto and enol forms of the aldehyde or ketone undergo acid-catalyzed equilibration. The second step is to add a proton. 
proton transfer from the acid that is HA to the carbonyl oxygen of the second molecule of aldehyde or ketone gives an oxonium ion. The third step is to make a new bond between a nucleophile and an electrophile. Attack by the enol of one molecule on the protonated carbonyl group of another molecule forms the new carbon-carbon bond. Step 4 is to take away a proton. Proton transfer to A- regenerates the acid catalyst and gives the racemic aldol product. You might compare the mechanisms of acid and base catalyzed aldol reactions. Under base catalysis, the carbon-carbon bond forming step involves attack of an enolate anion that is a nucleophile on the uncharged carbonyl carbon that is an electrophile of the second molecule of the aldehyde or ketone. Under acid catalysis, it involves attack of the enol that is a nucleophile of one molecule on the protonated carbonyl group that is an electrophile of the second molecule. This is the list of references followed for the lesson. That's all in this video, the aldol condensation of aldehydes and ketones. In the next video, we will learn the crossed aldol condensation. Till then, never stop learning and never stop watching my videos. Thank you for watching this video.